how's it going y'all now I actually arrived at this park kind of late because of the damn 19 bus and just a just just a quick um, word before I start I was supposed to arrive here early like around around 1040 1045 ish but when I got to Dudley station there was there was this bus called the 19 that was supposed to bring me to this area right here but when I got there the the bus uh, the bus was damn near an hour away it was a damn near hour wait so I literally had to take the 23 that goes to Ashmont but I didn't get off at Ashmont I actually got off um, somewhere early to that and I literally walked the rest of the way here so I would have been here sooner if it wasn't for the damn 19 bus so but yeah I just wanted to get that out there but um I actually want to reminisce um, some old memories from my childhood that I had um, back in the day and I actually really really had a really fun and hilarious childhood now obviously just as an FYI when we were kids we all we all used to be extremely happy back then we had a lot of memories all the family members that we don't have anymore they were still um, with us back then when they were still alive obviously you know we had good memories we went to fun places you know maybe there were times that we actually enjoyed going to school and just and just stuff like that in general we just had a really amazing childhood and now that and now that we're either at our late teens into going into adults now it feels like we won't be able to experience those type of memories again but that shouldn't stop you from revisiting those memories because like I said, there are there are a lot of stuff you can do again back from your childhood. Obviously, like playing with toys, which I still do, but not as much. Like the only toys I play with is is cars, is toy cars now. And it's not it's not it's not the Hot Wheels cars, which is those little puny cars. I don't play with those anymore. It's basically it's basically those big giant model toy cars that they have. They're really huge. Those are the cars I play with now. And they're extremely beautiful, especially especially that they're actually based on real life cars too. They're just toy size. They're either a size scale of 1 over 24 or 1 over 18. But overall those toy cars are big. But, but overall, my childhood was actually pretty, pretty damn fun, pretty decent. Um, you know, every time, every time I would wake up, I would always be happy to go to school, obviously. You know, every single day, I loved going to school, obviously. But as soon as I got into my middle school years and into my high school years, I definitely did not want to go to school after that but had to it was a part of my education but um but back then i did enjoy going to school i think the only thing i didn't like about going to school was the fire drills i did not like fire drills i did not love them at all now everyone knows what a fire drill is it's basically a practice drill that you guys do in case of a real fire but all the times that I've been through a fire drill it's literally just the alarm the ear soaring alarm and everybody just getting up and walking out of the school it's like people it's like it's like kids don't do lines anymore they just want to get up and just walk out the building just like that. They don't even listen to the damn teachers. Teachers keep telling you to line up in front the, uh, at the front door and then you guys are going to file out. That ain't the damn case anymore. People are just going to get up and walk out. 
that's it. Now, like I said, I hated fire drills because I don't, I don't know. I actually had no clue why I was so scared of fire drills because I guess at the time when I was very little, I thought that there was an actual fire in the school. And I thought at some point, if we wasn't gonna get out in time, then the whole school was gonna go up in flames. And I was scared crapless of fire drills because I really thought that they were actually real. But it was just a drill. It was supposed to be a practice. But I guess at times, <laughs> a dog's a plane at the park, park down there. But I guess at the time, I guess I didn't know what a fire drill actually was until it was explained when when firefighters usually visit the school and then they actually explain what a fire drill truly is, which actually involves you guys doing some procedures, obviously. That involves you, you know, getting down if it was smoky or crawling your way out. At least, at least they gave details like that. But all the fire drills we've had, we have, we didn't, we didn't have to crawl or crouch just to get out. We literally just had to get up and walk out of the school. That was it. But still, I was still terrified of fire drills. I literally had no idea why. But and plus, that's also humiliating too, because it's a, it's a, it's a fire drill. So, like I said, I was terrified of them. I don't know why. But, but nonetheless, I still loved going to school. You know, I loved all the friends I made. You know, I didn't make much friends, but I loved the friends that I made. I always loved being on the school bus, as always. And, and ever since then, I wanted to stay on riding the school bus since then. But I guess ever since I went into my freshman year, I guess my school bus years were over because... I was, I was obviously eligible, I think, to take the T, which is to take the city bus to school. I didn't want to. I still wanted to take the school bus just to remember all the memories I've had on the school bus. Because to this day, I still love riding the school bus. Because obviously, well, there used, well, there used to be a lot of fights. There used to be a lot of damn fights on the school bus, definitely. And I always sit in the front of the bus. Because one, because back then when I was in school, when I was little, I was extremely quiet. I was the quietest kid on the bus. I didn't want to be, I literally did not want to be a part of the mayhem that was going on while I was on the bus. All the kids would either be in the middle or, or in the back of the bus, just talking a bunch of shit, obviously. And then stuff will be said, and then there will be a fight. I would not be a part of it. I will be sitting up front. And the bus driver would literally have the ability, or, or, or not the ability, he would have the balls to literally t turn the bus around and head back to the school because a fight broke out. Really, as soon as we leave the school and not even like a good five minutes into the bus ride, boom, a fight breaks out. He turns around and heads back to the school or she turns around, whether it's a, a male or a female bus driver. They will literally turn the bus around and head back to the school. And then, and then as soon as they get back, uh, the school administrator or the staff that's working there, they'll tell everybody to get off the bus, including you. And then you're going to be like, I didn't do nothing. I'm sitting in the front. The fight happened back there. I was sitting up front. I had nothing to do with it. So you can keep me on and take me home. And that'll be it. So that's how it was back then. And I guess that's the only thing that kind of upset me when I was on the school bus back then. Because a lot of kids would just want to talk shit to each other. And then they end up. And then they end up making the bus driver turn the bus all the way around to go back to the school. And then the staff will end up kicking everybody off. Not just the kids that were fighting. They're, gonna, they're still going to kick everybody off. And you're literally calmly sitting in the front. Not trying to pay attention or listen to all the drama that's happening on the bus. And 
you're still told to get off because I don't know that literally happened to me a lot and I was wondering why because I was not I was not a part of that I was never a part of those fights on the bus but the staff would still tell everybody to get off and that was the thing that pissed me off about the bus because they would tell everybody to get off not just the people that started it so yeah that was fucked up right there but overall that was the only part I didn't like about school buses because a lot of fights would break out on there but overall I still love the school buses um obviously I went on a lot of field trips too which I literally enjoyed as a kid obviously um and I think there was a whole lot of other memories I literally just can't remember you know because it was literally back then and I guess at the time I was having so much fun that obviously I won't be able to remember that I had that much fun back then but like I said but as as I got older all those memories started to die out because because you know I was getting older and I was going into higher levels of school and that's what kind of pushed me to not really you know decide to not go to school anymore but I still had to go because it was for my education purposes so <clears throat> yeah well, like I said overall I enjoyed my elementary school years I definitely enjoyed my kindergarten years um I was okay I was okay with my high school years well actually I was okay with my middle school years I did not enjoy my middle school years I did enjoy my high school years they were okay I've already said before that I did not enjoy my my middle school years and just a quick recap I didn't like my sixth grade year because the, because because most of the teachers literally cut it straight to the chase and have us do work that we don't understand and that we obviously needed more help so that we would be able to do it I didn't like my seventh grade year I think I kind of liked my eighth grade year, but not as much. I was still a teacher's pet at the moment, so yeah. Um, and like I said, I literally enjoyed my high school year. I think my I, I think I think the only year of high school that I didn't enjoy all that much was my freshman year, because things were obviously a lot more tough, but. But, but somewhere in my late freshman year into my sophomore year and beyond, I was doing a lot better from there. So, you know, so overall, overall, I don't want to explain. I don't want to explain. I don't want to explain the tight details of my childhood. I don't want to go over the very little details of my childhood specifically because obviously I can't remember all of it. I'm just saying overall my childhood was just extremely awesome and fun all my school years were fun except for my middle school years I did not like them and it was just it was just good overall my childhood in general not just for school I also loved all my birthdays I, I always loved being sung happy birthday I always loved going out trick-or-treating for Halloween. I loved Christmas because I would make a big-ass list of stuff that I would want. But now, that's not the damn case anymore. Um, and overall, I also loved the summer season, too. I, I always loved the summer season, and I still do. I had a lot to do back then, but nowadays, I don't have much to do for the summer anymore. But hopefully, hopefully, I would have actual plans for the summer. Legitimate plans, hopefully. Because once the summer comes, I'll already be 21. So hopefully, I'll have a good enough plans to actually go out there and actually have fun. Not just stay home and do nothing. So, yeah. So, overall, my childhood was absolutely phenomenal. It was fun. It was hilarious. 
Like I said, there were a few years that I didn't like, obviously, because of my middle school years. I think that may have been the only thing I didn't like about my childhood, coincidentally. But overall, my childhood was absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, y'all may have had different childhoods. Y'all's childhoods may have went the same as mine, which was awesome, phenomenal, and all that memorable. But like I said, y'all can still relive those memories. You know, hopefully if things do light up this year, y'all can relive those memories again. Whatever y'all did as a kid, y'all can still do. Whether, whether if it's just like me, still playing with toys, video games, um, and possibly a few other stuff that I can't remember. But y'all can still relive those memories. Of course it won't feel the same now that you're old now. And that, and that some of your family members that were alive with you back then are, are possibly not alive with you anymore or, or they're just old. And I'm deeply sorry that if any of y'all lost any family members that were a part of your childhood, I am very sorry if y'all lost people um, over the years, but y'all really loved y'all's childhood so much that you would want to wish to be a child again. And I completely and utterly understand that. Like I said, life goes on. You can't, you can't just, you can't just like flip a switch and then you become a child again and relive those memories. That's not gonna happen. So, so, like I said, so again, so again, for those of you who have lost family members from your childhood and all that, or over the years, I am deeply sorry pretty sure that they were a huge part of y'all's life when y'all was a kid and beyond that I completely and utterly understand that but um but hopefully just live y'all's life to the fullest I know y'all want to relive y'all's childhoods and y'all can still do that like I said it may not it may not feel the same but y'all can still do it with no issue so you know, it is, a, it is, it is how it is. It's life, so take it how y'all want it. And, um, yeah, that's just reminiscing my childhood. Like I said, I didn't give the very specific details of it because I don't remember word from word or event by event. I'm just saying overall my childhood, not just little snippets of it, but... Yeah, that's that's it. So that's all I got for y'all. You know, just you know, just live y'all's lives to the fullest. No matter what, no matter what happens, just keep lifting your head up, whether it's good or bad. Because, like I said, if y'all if y'all just let the bad stuff take control over you, then you're not gonna want to move on. You're gonna want to give up right from the back, and you can't do that. Cause cause like I said, that's a coward's way. Of giving up on your own life and it doesn't mean that I'm calling you a coward it's just that it's a coward's way of not dealing with his or her life you just want to give up right from the back and let life consume you in a negative way but don't do that your life ahead is bright your future is bright your spirit is bright you have to keep it bright don't let it go dark all right but um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like and sub, so sh show me some love and all that. Um, hopefully by my birthday, I should have at least a live stream going on. So make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss out if I feel like doing a live stream on my birthday. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully if I feel like it or not. And um, yeah. See you on the next one.